look at the state of this box. This box has labels, waybills, and everything else taped all over it. Sorry, what? My producer's telling me we have to go with it. Okay, we're going to go with it. What's inside the Retro Game Treasure Box for July 2019? Yes, despite for the fact that the condition of the box didn't arrive as planned or certainly as expected, we're going to nonetheless get this opened up and find out what we have inside. This must be a new thing in which Canada Post has just slapped this big giant honking waybill label all over this box. Yet I push forward. Inside the Retro Game Treasure, inside the Retro Game Treasure box, inside you get a series of Retro Game titles living up to the name Retro Game Treasure. Inside could be Nintendo. Inside could be Super Nintendo. Sega, somebody says. Sega, also Sega could be in there as well. But we're going to go ahead nonetheless and get this opened up. Find out what we got inside for January 2019. I'm going to grab my trusty knife, Old Red, and we're going to go ahead and cut the tape on the front. It's not so much a tape as it is a giant circular seal. Perhaps as flat as some of those flat earthers. You know those theory people? <laughs> flat earth don't mean to don't mean to certainly uh, trouble any of the people out there that are advocates of a flat earth but come on guys how far how far are we now in society technological advances science and proven on such a regular basis flat earth what are we talking about here anyways what are we talking about retrogametreasure.com www. what what? Oh. .com. Got myself some packing pillows. I don't need, certainly, the packing pillows, so discard they will be discarded by myself. Oh, and we have one lone extra packing pillow. Comes with from Discount Air. What do you do for a living, Gary? Well, I work for Discount Air. I make air pillows. Certainly somebody's not going in there and... <sighs> Blowing it up quickly, like, quick, quick, seal it, seal it, seal it. No, that's not how, that's not how you make packing pillows. Not that I'm aware of, at least. What is this giant thing we have inside? We have ourselves the Super Game Boy. I have never owned this. Ever. This may be a Japanese also exclusive. I've noticed also by the Japanese writing that's located in the back. But I've never owned a Super Game Boy. Curious to see if hopefully it will work. I have a Retron. I don't suspect it'll work with a regular North American Super Nintendo, but I certainly have a Retron 7. See if I can give that a go, give that a try. Although I think the Retron does support Game Boys anyways. That's pretty cool though, pretty cool. It also says it's for the Super Famicom Nintendo, which might be an indicator that it may not work necessarily in North American consoles. Why are you waving your hands so much? I'm still thinking about those blasted waggles. We also have Othello. Never played it. I'll admit, I never played this game. Physically or as the video game. Never played either, actually. Othello. I figured it has something to do with black and white chips. That's as far as I know. That's as much as I've gathered. And really, theoretically, I've only taken all of that just from the image. It really involved very little, very little guessing on my part. I just looked at the picture and just assumed that's what you did. Maybe you land on top of one, flipping it over. Some champion Othello player is going to jump on board the comment section and just tear me apart. Let me just explain to you, reviewer, he'll proceed with his writings. Let me just explain how the game of Othello is played. And let me also tell you my success story, how it led me to five. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five championships in the World Othello Championship Tournament held in Italy. Food was lackluster, but the takeaway was a giant trophy, which I don't even know how they could afford that. Big giant Othello Championships Italy. What stories you spin sometimes, reviewer. We also have Harvest Moon. Correction, correction. Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town. It was a little harder to make out what that said. It, for a second, I thought it said Mount Neural. And I realized quickly, that's mineral. You stupid goon. Game Boy Advance. 
don't have this game either. That's actually three things I don't have as part of my growing collection of video games. What's that again, somebody says? The items that you got inside the retro game treasure for January? Let's run that back backwards. Quentin Tarantino in it. It is Harvest Moon. Friends of Mineral Town. Got that? Mental image? All right, moving along. Othello, championship tournaments in Italy. It's possible it could be the case. Curious if anybody will correct me down below on Othello. Here's a little bit of a little FYI. I don't care. I, I, no, that's, that's not true. I, I do care. I do care about anybody that would like to teach me the game of Othello. I really wouldn't want to make that into a game. <laughs> I really, I guess we would make it into a game. Anyways, moving on. We have the Famicom Super Game Boy. Hoping it works, as I make the gesture of putting it into a console. Those are the three things that we got inside the Retro Game Treasure. Interested in subscribing? Don't blame you. Don't blame you at all. www.retrogametreasure.com. That's where you can go to. That's where you can subscribe. That's where you can even possibly get Othello delivered to your house. And then maybe somebody, a next door neighbor, who happens to also be that very same Othello championship player. He'll show you his five trophies. They're spectacularly large. I didn't think a budget would be in place for Othello championships. And yet, lo and behold, this guy's trophies are huge. Take up half his living room. Even his wife, who knew what she was getting into. She knew she was going to be marrying an Othello championship player or former Maybe coming out of retirement soon. So though she knew, really, her living room was going to be absorbed by all of his trophies. His winnings. His bling, I guess. I mean, we can call that a bling. I don't know. Either way, today we were having a look. Trailing off considerably. This is the most trailed off video I think I've done. No, I, I can't, even, can't even really finish that sentence. I'm sure there's been worse. Either way, though, gents, ladies, owls, dog hounds www.retrogametreasure.com. That's the website where you can go to. The website for this, this channel, don't even have to worry, you're actually already here, but hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.